Hi, this is Tim from RealWebsiteHints.com, and this is my review of the Beaver Builder Page Builder and the Beaver Builder Theme. Uh, the Beaver Builder Theme is a front-end page builder that allows you to build a site. As a matter of fact, this is a site here I built with it, um, all using a front-end page builder, all sort of drag and drop style where you can see the changes as you make them. Um, a lot of people uh, really like the Beaver Builder Theme theme and page builder um, because it's supposed to have really uh, good code and it's supposed to be fast at uh, loading pages and it's supposed to also help you build pages really quickly. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Beaver Builder theme and the Beaver Builder page builder and see how good it really is. If you want to check out the Beaver Builder theme or the Beaver Builder plugin for yourself, I've actually got a sponsored link right below this video that'll take you directly to the Beaver Builder website where they've got a live demo and you can try it out for yourself. Let's take a look at the Beaver Builder plugin and how it works. In this particular example, I'm using the Beaver Builder theme, and a little bit later on in this video, I'm going to show you um, what it looks like when you use other themes with the Beaver Builder plugin. But let's go ahead and I'm just going to start by showing you guys how to make a new page. So, um, you click on new and then page using WordPress just like you normally would and then instead of using the text editor you want to click on page builder here and then the first thing that happens is um, you're given these templates now these are sort of pre-made templates made by the beaver builder team and you've got these home page options as well as content page options and then you've actually even got a place here where you can save your own templates um, so if you've got a reoccurring design that you're constantly using for certain kinds of pages you can save a template um, like that so that's how that works. We can just go ahead and say cancel to this. Uh, and then um, I'm going to close this out. And uh, so basically this is where you start and this is where you're building your web pages. It's right here and it looks like it's the front of your web page because essentially it is. And so to add um, content, you click on add content up here. And we've got row layouts. And you've got these rows which you can just drag in here. And then as you can see over um, underneath the rows, there's multiple different column widths that you can have. So if you added like a three column width um, item below this, you get the three column widths and then you can sort of drag them around um, and change the widths as you see fit. So that's uh, that's kind of a nice feature. Um, the other thing you've got um, in the options for the row options, you can click on the settings up here and then you can choose whether you want it to be fixed width or full width. Um, right now I'm sort of really into full width websites so I'm just going to set that to full width. And then you've got um, the choices of like the text colors that you want to have in this um, section here. So if you had a particular background photograph or background color that you were using, you can make sure that the text colors are going to automatically work with that no matter which module you put in there. And then for the background, you've got um, various different choices of what kind of background you can use. So you can use color, photo, video. Um, slideshow or a power, parallax batter, background. So you get lots of um, lots, lots of styling options, which is really nice. And then um, to add content to one of these sections or one of these rows, you just click on the add content up here, and then we've got these basic modules, so things like buttons, separators, text, photos, and then there's also, of course, the advanced modules, um, which has pretty much the same kind of modules that you'd find in any other page builder theme, um, like the Divi theme or the Aveda theme, which I've also reviewed. Um, we've got the accordion, call to action, um, countdown, map section. So just, you know, basically all of the the same basic content that you might want to add to your web page, and it just makes it really easy and really fast to add content. And so to add content, um, let's say you wanted to add just some text here to this section, just drag in a text editor, and it actually opens up the WordPress text editor, um, just like it would on the back end, and you can just go ahead and add some text. And you can see that um, that text is being added in live as you're editing it. Um, the other nice thing is that you can move this editor around around your window here um, so you can move it out of the way so you can see what's going on. Um, you've got advanced settings for the margin. Of course you can adjust the colors and everything in the text editor up here. And then so for some of the more advanced content sections, let's look at an advanced module here. Let's look at like the icon module for example. I'll just add an icon over here. Um, we get a lot more styling options here. So you can add text to this uh, next to the icon. You can select an icon. You've got all of these uh, great icons you can use. And it's just really a convenient and easy way to add some graphics to your website by having these um, icon libraries here. Just drop this one in here. And then the um, style, you can choose what the color you want it to be. Um, you can even make it look kind of like a button by having a different hover color, a 
background color, you can choose a gradient. And then all of these um, modules pretty much that I saw have got this responsive layout section here with various different controls over how the different modules are going to work depending on the device that you're using. And so that's really important um, to keep your website looking good no matter what device you're using. And of course, um, this plugin is fully responsive and ready for mobile phones or tablets or desktop computers, obviously, um, and it will you know, automatically fit the screen of the device that you're using. Let's go ahead and let's look at the back end of the home page that I created. So here we are on the back end of the home page that I made. You can see these various different sections here. And I really like this look here. We've got these three columns here. And I was able to change the background of each of the columns and then add a button module down here. So you can see that separator setting. So there's a separator module in here. And then there's also this columns settings where you can edit the column settings. Now this is something I did have a bit of an issue with every now and then is for some reason this button just eventually it'll go but sometimes it just doesn't click. So there there we go. Now now it's working. Mostly trouble free but occasionally a few little gl glitches like that. This is definitely a very high quality plugin that allows you to make um, great looking websites easily and it's just drag and drop. I've got this little down arrow that I was able to add to this page here just by adding an image module and then setting the margin and the padding to zero so that it was able to just slide up right against this upper section up here. So that's pretty nice. Um, if you're into sliders, of course, uh, this plugin um, comes with a slider module here. I've got um, the text over here and is able to put a border, I was able to put a background around just the text. Um, and this also has got a button option. And then you can place this uh, text section anywhere you want to. It could be across the whole image, and this is a background image here, or it could be just on the left like it is here, or just on the right, and you can choose the width, or you can have it in the center. You can also um, have your slide have um, text like it does over here on one side, and then um, an image or a video on the other side, so that's another option. So really good, you know, basic slider if you're interested in putting sliders on your website. This, is, this offers some basic good features in a slider. So now let's go ahead and um, see what this home page that I created uh, here looks like on um, when you open it up inside of a different theme. So if you're not using the Beaver Builder theme, what it looks like. And let's just go over here to themes. So I'm just going to change the theme over here to the 2012 theme. I'll just click on activate. And then let's see what our website looks like now. Oh, let me um, edit this page. So we've got a full width uh, page here. So I'm going to change the template to full width page, no sidebar, and click update. So as you can see here, um, it's basically the same design that I had created and had on the front page, but um, now it's been boxed in with this uh, with this theme. And so this theme, this is as wide as this theme goes. And you can also see we've got a title thing here. And I tried several different themes uh, with this plugin, and they all look great. They do exactly what um, Beaver Builder says it will do, which is work and allow you to make and design the pages on pretty much any theme. I think the thing is that I really like that full width look that you get with the standard um, Beaver Builder theme, and I was having a really hard time finding a theme that would allow me to have this full width look using the Beaver Builder plugin. Now, if you know of a theme that you think might work with a Beaver Builder plugin like this, um, I'd really like to know about it because I think that the Beaver Builder plugin is a fantastic plugin and it works really well, but it's just finding those themes that have that, that full width look. So if you know of a theme that works like that, just go ahead and leave a comment below. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the Beaver Builder theme itself. So um, the Beaver Builder theme actually doubles the cost of um, the just the Beaver Builder plugin on it on its own. But from what I can tell, uh, building this web page and trying it with other themes, it does seem to be the best way to get a full width layout using the Beaver Builder plugin. But the installation of the theme works just like any other WordPress theme. You download the zip file from their website and then upload it to your website and activate the theme. What I really like about the theme is it takes full advantage of the WordPress customize functionality. And I think this is something that WordPress has been pushing recently to get theme developers to all use this customize section here for making adjustments to their themes. So we've got you know, sort of the general settings, the background, if you wanted to have just a general background, the accent color of the theme, basically all of your color settings, um, the text settings, if you wanted to adjust the text and the typography of your website, you can control that here. 
The theme is also WooCommerce ready, so there are some specific uh, WooCommerce layout options in here. So if you're building an online store, this theme in the plugin is ready to go for WooCommerce. So just, you know, all of the controls right here, easy to use, and it's what's great about it too is when you're using the customize function, you can see the changes happening in real time. It minimizes the amount of back and forth you're, you're, you're using. So I really like the fact that the Beaver Builder theme um, embraces that. Now what I didn't particularly like about the Beaver Builder theme is the menu function. I mean, basically, the plugin itself, the Beaver Builder page builder plugin, is doing the heavy lifting of helping you design a great looking web page. So the theme, what it should be doing is helping you design, um, or maybe not design, but giving you lots of options for what the header looks like. And there just weren't that many choices of what you could do with the header. So let's look at some of the um, presets that they have. And these are sort of adjust the main looks of the theme. It's going to, you know, turn all these colors out of whack here. Um, but you can just see the basic designs that you can do for your header and menu section. So there's the default, basically the same thing, but with white, classic. Um, so this is boxed in, boxed in the, the look of the website. But, you know, we've got like a nice flat menu look. And this is nice, and this would definitely work, I'm sure, for a lot of websites. And, of course, you can change the colors of this menu section and everything else. Um, and, you know, it's added these icons up here and a, a call us thing. So this is definitely a great look. But as, you, as we look at all the different sort of menu looks that it comes with, they're all pretty much the same look. It's basically just the colors have changed. Um, a little bit of content may have been changed, you know, around here or there, but it's basically, basically the same thing. So I think that what I would have liked to have seen in this theme, especially for how much it costs, is just a few more options in the look of the menu and header section. But one of the other things I didn't like is I did um, enable the fixed header, which will allow the menu section to stay on the top of the website the whole time that your viewers are using it, even if they scroll down, is the way that the animation works with it. So let's see here, as we scroll down, see so it disappears and then sort of just pops back up there. I just, I don't know, it just felt a little clunky to me the way that that works. It seems like they could have done, you know, a nicer job of that, of that animation and that transition. One of the questions that I get fairly regularly when I review a page builder is what happens when you deactivate the page builder. Uh, the short answer is that you lose your design. So we're going to look at these two pages here. I've got this um, home page that I made here and then this contact page right here with a map um, little section in it. And let's see what happens when we uh, deactivate the theme. So let's check it out here. So this is the same um, same page that I made. This is the home page here. And this is what happens when you deactivate the Beaver Builder page builder. And then here's the contact page. You can see the map is still there. I mean, basically, all of your content um, is still there, but all of the design work that you put into it is gone. Um, and let's take a look at another uh, theme and uh, page builder that I reviewed, which is the Aveda themes. This is the website that I made when I did the um, Aveda theme review. And when you deactivate the page builder on this, you get um, a bunch of short codes here along with your content. And basically the short codes are what the uh, Aveda version of the page builder is using to develop the design of the site. And it's using the short codes in conjunction with the programming that's built into the plugin to give the design of, of your, and the look of your site. So I, mean, I think a lot of people freak out when they see this and they're like, oh my god, there's all of this extra code all over my site. But the truth is, uh, I really don't think that the code that the browser seeing and the code that, you know, the, your user seeing on their web browser, you know, be, between this and between this is really that much different. It's just the code that they use to do the page design is different. So, I mean, my personal take on it is that that this looks really bad, um, but either way, if you wanted your page to look like this or you wanted your page to look like this, you're going to wind up um, rebuilding your pages if you used a page builder to to develop your site. I don't think this is a bad thing. You need help building your website and unless you want to be, become a code master and learn you know, how to do all the CSS programming, how to do PHP, how to do HTML, you're going to need help, and these page builders offer you know great ways of building really cool looking sites easily. So I think that you know what you should do is just pick the best tool that allows you to easily achieve the look that you want now. Because in the world of building websites, everything's always changing. You have to just dive in and get started with the best tool that's available now. 
So are the Beaver Builder theme and is the Beaver Builder plugin, are they good? And I absolutely think they're good. What really sets apart the Beaver Builder plugin and the Beaver Builder theme is the code. I mean, it's really nicely designed code. Uh, the page builder, as we've seen here, is easy to use. It allows you to see what you're doing, easily move things around without any problems. And it's also supposed to be able to really allow your site to load quickly for your viewers, which is important for your viewers, and it's also important for the search engine optimization of your website. The theme itself does work really well. I really like the customized functionality and the fact that you've got access to all of the settings right here in this customized window. I just wish that there were some more options on the menu styling. So if you're looking for a high quality builder and one that's going to allow you to make great pages e easily, I definitely think that you should you know, give the Beaver Builder a try. And you can check out the sponsored link below this video, which will take you directly to the Beaver Builder page. Um, and they've got a demo on there, which allows you to sort of play with it and give it a try for yourself. So there we go. That's a quick look at the Beaver Builder theme and the Beaver Builder plugin. Um, for more reviews, tips, and tricks, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about a product that you'd like me to review or take a look at, just go ahead and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.